Today I'm going to teach you to create an Excel VBA simple login system. Let's add authentication system to all your important projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe to learn computer programming. Open blank Excel file. Press F12 and save as macro enabled workbook because VBA can only be written in macro enabled workbook. Now create a user database, where you can place all the username and password. Create headers where you can input values from user form. Range G2 and H2 will be user input from user form. Range I2 and J2 will be formulated, and will work with the help of VLOOKUP, to check if the user input value is available in the database or not. Create some username and password in column B and C. Apply VLOOKUP to check if the user exists in the database, if not, then, it will return with hash NA. We will use if error to use blank instead of hash NA. We will use similar logic for password, VLOOKUP will help to check if the password is available in the database. If not then, it then we will use hash NA to get blank. Password is always case sensitive, so we will use exact formula to check if the user input password is matching with the database, if not, then, it should return false. We will use logical function to get success on true, whereas false will return failed output. Cell K2 will help to check if the user input username, and password, both are available in the database or not, if available, then, the password is exactly matching. If everything is as per the database, you will see success on cell K2. Right click on VBA project and insert the blank user form. We will go to Google search and download the ready-made login page because default controllers are very basic for designing. Let's search the best login form, always make sure to pick the right color of the login form. It should match with your project's logo color. In case if you are making project for Marvel Studio, then your login form color should be the combination of red, white, and black. In this tutorial, I will simply pick any color to demonstrate how can we utilize in the VBA. It's a good practice, to save all the project related images under your current folder, create images folder and save all the relevant images under that folder, it will be easy to maintain while working. Login form is downloaded, now right click and go to edit, it will open the image in Microsoft Paint. We will remove all the unwanted part from the login page. Copy login form image from Paint, and paste it on Excel. Let's resize the login form as per our requirement. Once it's done, open snipping tool and capture the login page. Now paste it back to the MS Paint. Increase the size as per your requirement and make sure to paint back the white background. Remove unwanted area with the help of clone. Now what is clone? It's the most important part in the MS Paint. You can copy paste the selected area to other parts of the images without any copy paste. Simply select any area and keep holding the control key and drag the selected area, 
Now leave the drag without leaving control key, you will see selected area is cloning. We will save and close the MS Paint. Go back to VBE Editor and insert image control on user form. Go to Properties. Check picture and browse your image. Change user form name to relevant to your action. We are creating login form, so let's keep frm underscore login. It's a good practice to use similar name in convention for all the user form. It should always starts with frm underscore. I forgot to remove username and password text. Let's go back to the image and open in MS Paint. I love cloning in MS Paint. It's so simple and powerful feature, let's remove the unwanted area. It is also important to understand which are to be selected, if your selection is not matching with the cloning area, then the cloning area will mismatch with the color. Let me know in the comment if you want to learn cloning in MS Paint. Now, let's go back to the user form designer, go to properties, pictures, and browse the image. Now we have clear login form. Now add two text box controller. Place it on username. Resize it as per the size available. Make sure your text box height and width is less than the username area. Placing another text box for password. For password text box use asterisk so everything typed by the user will be masked. Now, let's change the border style to border style none. And, back style should be selected as style transparent. Now add label. Place it on sign on button. Resize it, so it should cover the entire place of sign on button. Remove caption and make it transparent like we did before so it will allow sign on button to be visible. Now we will add one command button, because label cannot be triggered when enter is pressed. With the help of this command button we will allow user to trigger authentication function when they hit enter. Make sure to change the property of tab stop to false. This will not allow to activate command button when tab is pressed. We want to hide this command button under the form itself. Change default to true. This will allow command button to be triggered on enter. Default true means trigger on enter. Font color has to be changed to white, as it's not visible because of dark color of login page. Let's start the coding. Double click anywhere to visit code area. Create a new subroutine as authentication. Rename text box 1 to V. Username. Use first letter as lower caps and other letters as proper. This is called camel casing. Let me know in the comment box to know more about camel casing. Make sure to rename text box 2 as V password. Rename label to sign in underscore label. Double click on username text box to get the change trigger created automatically. Let's rename the user sheet as SHT underscore user. Now we have to send data from username to user sheet on cell G2, it will be auto triggered when the text box value is changed. Now we will create similar trigger for password text box.
It's also very important to use indent while writing code. Indentation refers to the spaces at the beginning of a code line. Let me know in the comment box if you want to learn code with indent. Press F5 to run macro, let's check how it looks like when the value is entered in user and password. Awesome! It is working as expected. Now let's back to the code area and create new subroutine. I've used authentication as subroutine name, you can use anything, but make sure, it is relevant to your action. Create any variable to store authentication status from user sheet. Auth is my variable, and I'm storing value from sheet user from cell K2. Which is going to return success on correct username and password. Whereas, it will return false on incorrect entries. Let's add the logical function. If variable auth contains failed then it should prompt with an error, stating that the username and password you have entered is incorrect. Exit the current function after the message box. Add else in the logical function because we have to trigger some action on success. Change subroutine to function because we need to pass value in the function name itself. Remove string from the function because we need true and false value which is going to return with the help of boolean data type. Add function name equals to false under failed value. True under success. Now go back to the form designer and click on sign in command button. Now you can use the authentication function as a data type. Right click and add new user form which is going to be your main landing home page or main CRM. Let's call main user form when the authentication is true. Make sure to unload the login user form before you call the main form. You can use as me, or the form name, so here I've used me, because I'm writing in the user form itself, so I can use me. Let's add the trigger on sign and label too, you can write the sign and button name as the function and call it on label. Now hide the command button. If the user hit enter our command button will be triggered, if they click on sign on, again our command button will be triggered. Now it's time to add validation on username and password text box. Detect with the help of logical function, prompt with the message box if the username is empty. Similarly detect the password text box too, prompt with the message box if the password is empty. And make sure to exit function because we don't want the code move ahead. It's also important to set back the focus property to the text box after the message box is prompted. In case of password, remove the values entered in the password because it's incorrect and cannot be viewed for the correction. Now let's run the macro to check if the codes are working fine. Set conditional formatting on cell K2, if the value is failed then format it with red color, whereas green on success. Now let's download some CRM image from Google for our landing home page. Browse downloaded CRM image into the user form and I'm doing this just to make beautiful landing page, in your case it's totally depend on your requirement. Now we will use user form activate event to welcome logged in use with the help of inbuilt function in Byron. There are many inbuilt functions available. Let me know in the comment box if you want to learn inbuilt functions.
We also have to remove already input values from username and password when the user form is activated. Now add one more condition in the cell K2, which is our authentication status. Add if the input password is blank then it should return failed value. Let's check how it works. Awesome. It's working as expected. Now we are done with the project. End-to-end -end authentication is working fine. You can use this login page in anywhere. Let me know in the comment box. I will share the file. Now let's make the beautiful home page. It's very important to design the beautiful user interface, because client doesn't know how difficult or complex project you have designed. They will only judge your project based on the user interface. So I've copied one image from Google and pasted on my home page. So my client will be amazed after watching the login system. It should be beautiful user interface. I'm just using shapes, text objects and color fills to design the home page. I will create the new video where you can learn step-by-step step to design YouTube thumbnail without any software. I love working with shapes and objects, it allow you to showcase your creative skills.